One story homes in Denver NC, ranch style homes. One level, one and a half. Hi, I'm Roger Holloway with Prostead Realty. And we're looking at the map. If you're relocating to Charlotte, here's the greater Charlotte area. You come up NC 16 on this side of Lake Norman, and you're gonna find Denver, you're gonna find Lincolnton, you're gonna find Iron Station, etc. Trilogy Lake Norman is right, right up in here. Uh, imagery uh, from uh, Lennar is right down here. But on this side of Lake Norman, the land is less expensive and there's a lot of development up here. And I want to talk to you about ranch homes. Of course, there is uh, the Trilogy Lake Norman. They've got lots of great ranch, ranch and a half. But that's a little different animal because that is a 55 plus active adult. And I'm going to show you a variety of homes today. I'm going to start with Creek Park. This is the fabulous Pikewood plan from Taylor Morrison. Now, uh, see, if you ever go into one of these models, like there's one in Indian land, I'm telling you that island gets you every time. Gourmet kitchen, the Pikewood is a spectacular plan, great layout, just great living, and uh, there's one for sale right now, price just over 400, about 403 and change there in Creek Park. Now, one thing I'm gonna be focusing on today, just to educate you, is uh, about the exterior uh, facade. And uh, a lot of people don't know, a lot of you live perhaps now in a vinyl sided house, nothing wrong with it. Uh, but as you go through the south and you see how the sun sometimes hits that vinyl and uh, it can warp and, and it can uh, look a little strange in the sun, but it's, a, it's been a, a fine uh, you know, exterior finish for, for many, many years. So this Pikewood, fabulous, uh, 2,682 square feet and it's uh, basically got a lot of room, a lot of space. My second one, and that's got fiber cement or hardy board on the outside. The next one here is a proposed house in a neighborhood called Wingate Hills. Now, a lot of people have been searching for Wingate Hills, uh, builders, etc. Uh, this is a proposed house, so these uh, show you what it would look like, and then it also shows you the lots. Now, if on any of these you, you're showing interest, give me a call, 704-345-3400. Let me drill down a little deeper. This particular one, large lots, three quarters of an acre, uh, almost an acre and over an acre. So again, depending on when you see this video and we see the availability, I have one of my buyer's agents get out and work with you on uh, the specifics on that. That is fiber cement on that one. Next one is right here in with a Denver address. This is called Canopy Creek, Meritage Homes, great national builder. They're very uh, anal about their energy efficiency and in a very good way, uh, spray foam insulation. Now Canopy Creek is a ranch homes neighborhood, not 55 plus, uh, it's a fabulous neighborhood. And uh, there are some opportunities for you to get in there. This one's priced about 362 today. You know, prices could go up or down, but Canopy Creek is turning out to be fabulous. And again, you need a buyer's agent. Don't just rely on their online or on-site sales. They work for the builder, not for you. And in other words, if you walk into a model home, uh, they're fully represented. You're not represented at all. This one, believe it or not, I've been talking about fiber cement, the first three, this one's all brick or brick and stone. Now, I really love this neighborhood. It's called Westport. And notice again, the gleaming hardwoods. Notice the elevation of the ceiling. Notice the stacked stone going all the way up to the ceiling. Uh, this builder is a local custom builder and they're building in Westport a section of uh, what we call courtyards homes. And what that means is, I uh, see skylight, love that. It's kind of like, the, have you ever seen the Epcon courtyards? Just type the word courtyards into my YouTube search bar. And by the way, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and take care of that business. Ring the bell for notification because we do go live occasionally and I, I want you to be notified of it. But guys, this is like the quality is like there uh, with this builder. And it's right there at the Westport Golf Club and uh, nice big deep tray. And uh, look at those hardwoods. Uh, Westport Golf Club right there, as well as the Westport Swim and Tennis Club, which is uh, planning to be rebuilt after uh, the fire, the recent fire. Swim and Tennis right there, extra charge for that. This is good stuff, guys. Look at that, shower, this is beautiful. And if, if, for instance, you say this could be for me, ask me to go up and shoot a video of it. Now see, it's the courtyard, meaning that this screen porch plays off to a zero lot line there and there are no windows on that side, so you've got privacy except that little transom, and nobody's gonna step on a step stool to get up, to look out of their shower window. <laughs> 
to see what you're doing. But this courtyard provides a fabulous opportunity. And again, if you like a video of that one specifically, you ought to let me know that one's priced. Believe it or not, an all brick home priced, what is it, about 360 ish or so. And that's just reference Westport, lot 32. Now we're going kind of out in the country. Now this one is, is a vinyl, large lot. It's in a neighborhood called Wood Ridge, two words. Over three quarters of an acre lot. And, uh, it, you know, it's got, you, you know, it's a story and a half, site built. Uh, and it's priced at like 336-ish or so, vinyl siding. So now my question is, vinyl siding versus all brick? That's really a no-brainer. So really the three levels of, of exterior for me, vinyl, and then fiber cement, and then brick. A lot of people want an all brick house. I'm sitting in an all brick house right now. I do like all brick, but here's a builder that's built this on a nice large lot. Now, see, a large lot might be more important to you than uh, what's on the outside of the house. And so it's site specific, pretty good stuff here, guys. And you want to reference Wood Ridge. Uh, if you call me at 704-345-3400, again, get my team of buyer's agents out. I could go out and shoot a video for you, and we'd love to help you in that way. Now, here's another one. It's on a third of an acre, and this one is also brick. This one is going to be all brick, so that's pretty sweet. Just a straight-up ranch-style plan, and again, uh, that one's going to be ready here soon. They just don't have a lot of pictures. This is where I can be of service to you to go out and shoot that. That's priced, really, what a value, at 310 Wow. Now that's in Carolina Terraces. Carolina Terraces. And so again, if there's any level of interest, you're with 30, within 30 days to a purchase or a move date, then you want to call me and ask me to go shoot it. Now this one's well under 300. How do they do it? Probably because of the vinyl siding. Now here's the rub on this. You might have seen that this is a Mike Palmer home. So my guess is Mike Palmer is not the type of builder that would typically build with vinyl. He's a a high quality custom builder. I love Mike Palmer, shout out Mike. Uh, but probably what happened is an investor uh, uh, picked up a lot or two and said, I'm going to uh, uh, do what we call a ghost listing. I'm gonna put this in the MLS in Eagle Glen is the name of the neighborhood. And I'm going to advertise it as this particular floor plan. And I'm gonna price it well under 300, about 296. And the way I can do that is by doing it with vinyl. Now this is not my listing, uh, but somebody has listed it kind of as a ghost listing and said, hey, let's get Mike Palmer to build this particular house on this particular lot. And we're gonna spec it out with vinyl. Nothing wrong with that, but I just don't want you to get confused that Mike Palmer is not out there building a lot of vinyl houses. They spec it out this way. And if you say, hey, I'd like to buy this house, but I wanna build it with brick. Well, for an added charge, I'll bet we could negotiate that in the transaction and have it as an all brick or hardy board. A lot of times you have brick fronts and then you have hardy board going around three sides. We have all hardy board, but I'll bet that that's what we could do. If there's any interest in that, uh, I don't know what it would add. We, we would get it priced out for you. So guys, if you're moving to the greater Charlotte area, I'm your guy. If you're looking uh, whether uh, for a builder and a subdivision, maybe one of those, one of those has no HOA. We can go back and look that one up. Uh, call me about that. But if you're looking for ranch style homes, homes for sale in the Denver uh, NC area, I'm your guy, buyer's agent with a team of buyer's agents. Look in the roster of this video below. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And if you happen to reach out to any of these builders, I wish you wouldn't because you need a buyer's agent. You're at the mercy of the seller's agent if you do that. That's what working with real estate agents is all about. No extra charge to you typically to just let us do it. They have it built in. Love to help you with that. 704-345-3400. Give me a call. But if you do reach out, make sure you look in the description below and pick one of my handful of agents and say, uh, I'm working with so-and-so, but let us do it for you. We'd love to arrange a tour and show you the whole market, especially if you want me to go out and shoot a full motion video tour of any of these homes or others that you're discovering. That's how we provide full service brokerage services on the buyer side. And we use full motion video to help you buy a house remotely if you want to go that way or to give you a good enough reason to get in the car or, or the plane and head over here to Charlotte and let's go pick it out and we'll get it done for you and get you moved down here. You wouldn't believe how many New York license plates I see. That gold and black, amazing. I can spot a Florida license plate. I can spot a Georgia license plate. A lot of people relocating here. So guys, hope I can help you with that too. So subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.